He is the Motown phenom, and here he comes. Wow, look at this guy. Looking great. What a pleasure. Welcome. Welcome, Kevin. How great is this? I know, right? This is amazing. Our relationship is really uh, kind of taken off. Less than a year ago, you thought I hated you. You were scolding me. You were going on other shows and talking smack about me. And now here you are. You still this be tripping house. sometimes. For real? Uh, I appreciate uh, what? you gave me the Soho hookup. Yeah, I went yeah, yeah. down, did some shopping. Yeah. What'd you, what'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, some, some J's, of course. You uh, know. Did you go to Flight Club? Did you go to the place I told you to go to? No, nah, no, nah, okay. nah, nah. I, I look, I ain't listening to you that far. Okay. <laughs> uh, I went to Soho. All right, all hotels right. in Soho. You like this? Some shopping. Okay, fair enough. But, uh, you still be tripping? You really? Know, you, For real? Wow. You, no more Mickey Gall. Don't okay. ever, <laughs> don't ever mention Mickey Gall's name to me. I the saw the that. man that laid on his back for, yes. for three rounds. Don't ever mention him. All man's right, name. you were there. You yeah, saw yeah, it. I was there. I saw you tweeting impressed. about him. Of course. You weren't impressed. With Mickey? Yeah. No, of course not. Of course not. I wasn't impressed with Mickey before. I wasn't impressed with him after. Uh, the only thing I'm impressed with is how is he, he's been able to to capture people and, and get the crowds behind him. And, you know, the crowd should have been behind Randy Brown. Randy right. Brown was the was the better fighter in that fight. And uh, the New Yorker. And he's, and he's from New York. Yeah. He was uh, getting booed. How people were on, so on Mickey Gall when the man's, uh, you know, he's a jiu-jitsu player. He's not even a real fighter. I don't, I don't really get it these days. Were you impressed with Randy Brown? Of course. Okay. Yeah. He, uh... You know, he he did his thing. Uh, he went out there and he represented. Like I said, he should have just had more more support, more uh, more more people behind him because he was the better fighter. And but we, we'll we'll come around. So what brought you to New York? Were you like a guest fighter or something? Did you come out yourself? Uh, originally, I came down to meet with CAA. Okay. The, the the meeting went real well. Okay. Uh, Management. But then I also I had to come out and I had to support George. Uh, you That's know, I got guy. to train a little bit with George's before before my fight, uh, and he's just a huge. I've been a huge fan of him. Uh, so I, I had to come out. I had to support, and I had to see him get go out there and get that W. Um, I was actually looking at your UFC.com profile, and a lot of it you could tell you wrote as you were just entering the UFC, you list George St. Pierre as one of your heroes. Yeah, yeah, he's always been. Uh, why? I, I, it's no secret, George was the reason why I got into fighting. Uh, when I was 16, I saw his fight with BJ Penn, and and that was like, that's what I'm gonna do. I didn't know how I was gonna do it, I didn't know what I was gonna do at the time, but that's what I was gonna do. Uh, and when I got to meet him, I you know I, I met with him a couple of times, trained with him. Uh, he's the great, greatest human in the world, so. Yeah. Uh, I had to give it to him. And, and, and he texted me a night before my fight. Yeah, I saw you Tony, posted it on Instagram. And he told me uh, to keep your mind sharp. That's what makes a difference at the championship level. And I really didn't understand what he meant then. Okay. But I do now, especially after watching that fight. In the second round, you could see, you know, he was tired. He was a little hurt. Yeah. A younger fighter, they would have broke. They would they would have been defeated, and then that would have been the end of it. But a, a, a real champion like that, he pushed through. He pushed through adversity, and I think that's something like me. There's someone like me that like I'm gonna learn from that. Right. I'm gonna learn from that. I'm gonna grow, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna come back better and stronger. So when you're 16 and you watch that fight, like what are the circumstances? Where are you? How did you get in front of the TV to watch that fight? So uh, I'm still in Detroit. Okay, you know we. we we got a little box tube uh, TV. Yeah. Uh, I kind of saw it, and I didn't know what it was. Uh -huh. uh, I think like most people get into MMA, you know, you kind of see them. That was your and, first time seeing a fight? It, ever, yeah. Ever. I, I had seen boxing before. You yeah, know, yeah, but been, not MMA. Not MMA, no. Wow. Uh, we had been big Floyd fans uh, because Floyd's from Michigan, and we I always watched boxing. My dad was a huge Mike Tyson fan. Okay. But I'd never seen MMA. Uh, I remember seeing that fight. I went on, and I showed my dad the fight too. And my dad was like, what the, what the fuck is this? Uh, but then after that, I went out, I joined the wrestling team and then it's all history from there. Wow. But I, I do have to credit that a lot to George's. Well, and, and is this the first BJ Penn fight or the second BJ Penn fight? I think it was the second. The it second, was the second wow. Fight, so that's yeah. not that long ago. I mean, look, I'm, I'm You're a young guy. guy. Yeah, I'm still, You're still young. 25, I'm still, right? I'm still getting into 25, space. right? Yeah, I'm 25. 25, yeah, wow. That's crazy, man. UFC 94, that wasn't that long ago. That's insane. Uh, to, to me, it was. Yeah, to me, it seems like a lifetime ago. Right. Uh, and in M MMA years, it is. But, you know, th th this game is about a marathon. And you saw that on Saturday night. Sure. On, on Saturday night, too. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So. Did you think he would win? Because no one was picking him. I was kind of shocked by it. I, I was. I was. I mean, look, that was Don't a tough say, fight. Yes. That was a tough fight. You're picking against George him? George is my boy. Your guy? No, no, no. I'm just... I texted you the night look, before look, your I'm, fight? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a realist. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at it. I knew it was a tough fight. That's a that's a big hill to climb, even for a, a champion like that. Yeah. Uh, to come back and, and, and try and fight somebody like Mike, who's really hard to hold down, uh, much bigger, maybe not as strong, but... Right. but it has the leverage points. Uh, and Georgia pulled it out. I mean, what, what can you say? Unbelievable. 
What can you say? You can only learn from somebody like that. You can only give a man like that respect, and, and, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so since you like him so much, what do you want to see him do next? Personally, yeah. I would like to see him fight Bobby Knuckles. Yeah. Uh, I think he'd give Bobby the business. Yeah, I mean, I, for real, wow. I, I, I like Whitaker You like too, him in that fight. But I like, I like Georges. I, Interesting. If, if I'm betting, yeah? I would bet on Georges really? in that fight. Unlike what you did in this fight when you went with Bisping. I, I would be more confident, honestly, really? with Why is him that? versus uh, Bobby Knuckles than against, Why is that? against Bisping. Just because I feel like that experience, okay. uh, especially at this game, uh, you know, Robert Whitaker is still young. Mm -hmm. uh, when he gets to that same hump, do I think he'll be able to come over it? I don't know. Not 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 the same as George's. I I don't like George at 185 though. It feels like he's at he, he's carrying People a little keep too much saying weight. That, yeah. Uh, I got to train with him a couple weeks before yeah. my fight, and I'm a, I'm a big 155 pounder. Okay. Uh, I don't see no way George's makes 155. Yeah. Uh, I've moved around with him. I've touched him. Sure, I've grappled sure, sure. him. He's but a big dude. 170 seems perfect, right? He's a big dude. Even yeah. even amongst 170 pounders, I've, I've moved okay. around with some big 170 pounders too. Uh, he's a big dude now. You know, I don't know the the, the time off. He he's he's got to bulk up. He did it the right way, uh, and he really took a championship approach to 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 jumping up that weight class. I think he's a, I think he's up there for now. Where did you train with him at TriStar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to train uh, a little bit at TriStar. And How'd that we come about? Wrestling club. You just went there. Uh, I was there for TKO. Okay, uh, yeah, my yeah, brother, your brother, my, yeah. My brother fought in TKO, so and I was in You're just able to come in? Of course. The yeah, gym? Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, Robin Black. Shout out to Robin Black. Oh, he my, hooked my you boy. up. Yeah, he hooked me up with it. So, oh, nice. Uh, look, hey, what, what can I say? Was that your first time training with George? Yeah, yeah. First wow, time. what was that like? Someone who, like, this is the guy who got you into the sport. Again, it's, a, it's like a dream come yeah. true. It's like, uh, it's like shooting around with MJ, right? And, and it was great going into my first world title fight to get around somebody like that to see what I, I try and pick those guys' brains. I try and pick those world champions' brains, see what makes them tick, see what makes them what they are. And and, and I got to do that a little bit, uh, not as much as I, I would have liked right. because I was only there for a short amount of time. But now even even more, now that I've seen them already and I've seen them fight too, uh, now, now I feel like I've learned even more from that. Was that the greatest night of fights you've seen Saturday? And personally, yeah. Uh, I still feel. Down. I feel like I'm still buzzing. Like I'm still on a high <laughs> from down. it. It was great. I mean, I, it was no fight on the card that yeah. was, that was born. It was right. no fight that was bad. Uh, I loved it. From I, I was there from the first very fight. first pre, or I think the second pre. Okay, okay. You know, I, I ain't gonna take all you the credit. <laughs> uh, I didn't see. Can't the show up for the first out, but uh, I was there from the fights on, and, and, and I had a great time the whole time. Of the three title changes, which one shocked you the most? It was definitely the Joanna fight. Really? Uh, you know, I got big. T I, I, I love Joanna. I got big ties to Joanna and Rose, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love them both. I, I didn't want to see neither yeah, one yeah. of them really get knocked out, to be honest. Uh, I thought the fight was going to be a closer, more competitive. Uh, I thought that Rose would have the advantage on the on the ground mm -hmm. and Joanna on the feet, but that, that, that's Shocking. MMA. That's the way this game works. Uh, and, and, and she'll come back. She'll she'll bounce back, Joanna, and and and, and so will Rose. And, and I, I expect a great fight the next time they fight too. Um, we were just talking to Joanna, and she talked about how, of course, I was going to show up to the press conference afterwards. Of course, I was going to face the music. You've been through that now. You were very emotional. How difficult is that after the like? You know, that's the lowest moment of your professional sporting career, right? I mean, of course, you've been through a lot in your life, but to then sit there and answer a question from us schmucks, you just, you probably didn't want to be there, right? It's, it's hard. Uh, I got to give her a lot of credit. She did it before me. She did it the, the Monday before the, yeah. after the fight. Uh, it's but, taken but me But you a also month. came to the press conference. I, I came to the press conference. Uh, that was very hard. It, it is because- Did you not want to go? Of, of course not. You're, did they make you go? No, no, no. I, I asked to, uh, but your natural instinct is to is to kind of clam up, yeah. kind of get away from it, uh, and 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 you got to try and fight that, especially when you're a champion like her. Now, I think that's why you got to give somebody like that respect, uh, and and that's what I'm trying to do. The same, you know, you, you you this is this is what we do. Sometimes you're gonna you're gonna take an L. Sometimes you're gonna learn. Uh, and, and I think people, the real people, the real fans, the real people that really see you, they, they respect that and they know that. That I have so much respect. Like I, I sometimes make too big of a deal about it, but like, like I have this picture right here because I mm -hmm. feel like it represents it. Like this was Cruz, right? Cruz yeah. Cruz lost, right? Mm -hmm. When he lost to Cody. And this is not like a great picture shot by our Esther Lynch. She's the best, but this is just a guy standing up. But I just love when, like I, I, I gain more respect for the fighters who show up like you did, like she did. And just face the music and talk about it and don't run away. And it's like, look, crap happens, right? Life happens. There are big things that happen in life. There are tragedies. But the fact that you can just stand there for 10 minutes like you did, 
I, I, to me, my respect for you and, and, and Dominic and Connor who did it, right, and Ioana, it just grows exponentially. And I hate to bag on Rhonda, but like she didn't do it. And she had two opportunities to do it. And, and it's, hard, it's hard not to lose a little respect when you see that, right? That's true. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I can bag on her because I don't, I don't know. I'm not in those same sure, shoes. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it is hard, but that's what we do. You talk shit before the fight. You, right. And win, lose, or draw— I'm going I'm to act the same way. I'm going to be the same way. Show up to the press conference. Do the press. Tell them what, uh, and, and, and tell the people, because there are people out here that really care about us and, and, and go through a lot more than we do. Right. This ain't the biggest thing in the world. I think Joanna said it, said it best. Like, yeah, you, you lost. Okay, get yeah. over it. Right. Go back. Get out there. Do it again. Cody said it. Uh, Joanna said it. Uh, Mike said it. And, yeah. and, and I'm saying it too. Like, you, you get out there and you're going to do it again. All three and, of them on Saturday, I thought, handled the loss very well. Um, and you don't often see that. Now, also on Saturday, there was a guy by the name of James Vick who yeah. looked good. He was just sitting here. I don't know if you guys crossed paths in the back. Did you see him? Nah, I seen you him yesterday. See him? Uh, Where'd you see uh, him? I, I went down to a Broadway show. You know, you what? play out here doing wow. white people stuff. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Broadway show. Which show? Uh, uh, Book of Mormon. Oh, wow. So I seen him there. We talked a he little bit. He was at the show too? He was He was sitting up. He was sitting oh, up damn. in the rafters. Oh, damn. the nosebleeds? Down on the floor. He didn't mention that when I just spoke to him. I, the, of course he yeah. was. <laughs> you know, we. I, I'm looking up at him screaming shit to wow. him. Wow. But I told him, Enjoy your win. Okay. Enjoy this. Yeah. Don't ruin your Christmas yet. He wants to fight me in, in, in February. Yeah. Like, don't ruin your Christmas yet. Like, at least book the fight after. Enjoy your Christmas wow. uh, uh, before Doomsday if, you, if that's what you want. But I don't know. I, I'll take Are a you down? Bit. I'll take a little bit more time. I, I need more okay. time than February especially. Okay. Uh, well, I'll, I'll see. Um you know, it's been a lot of talk on what I'm going to do and, and all this and what they're going to do if they open up this 165 yeah. weight class. Uh, right now, I'm going back. I'm, I'm playing with my diet a little bit, okay. see if I can shrink down a little bit more, too. I carry a lot of mass. How on much do you know, weigh right now? Uh, probably about 190-ish, okay. something like that, like 186. Okay. Uh, between 186, 190. So uh, I'm going to play around with my weight a little bit, walk around a little bit lighter, and then, and then we'll see. Do uh, you have a nutritionist? No, nah, I don't, you know, I, I use the, the UFC's nutritionist, uh, Clint. At the Performance Institute? At the Performance yeah. Institute, but um, yeah, nah, not, not really. I've, I've kind of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a biomed major, uh -huh. so I, I, I took a lot of nutrition classes. Like, I understand nutrition a lot. Yeah. Uh, my body just didn't respond well. I was fighting a little bit too much, a little too much stress on me, and my body just didn't respond well, especially when, when, you, when you're trying to battle sicknesses and, and, and your immune system going down. It's, it's, it, it's hard. So right now I'm gonna give myself a little bit of time, let my body heal up, let it get back to normal, uh, let my endocrine system get normal, and then see what we do from there. Have they said anything about 165 to you? Because it doesn't sound like Dana's that into it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. You know, you're not really I, banking on that look, now, right? The, the the squeaky wheel gonna get the grease. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep. I don't know why more guys aren't talking about it. I don't know why more guys aren't stepping up. Uh, when I when I stand next to James Vick, he's taller than me, just as big. You know, I know he don't want to yeah, make that weight huge. cut down to 55 anymore either. I don't see why uh, uh, more guys ain't talking about it. But look, at, at least I, I, if I gotta be the singular in this, right. and, and, and and Dana just hate me for it, I'm gonna keep doing it. He doesn't hate. He loves you. I don't know. He love me. They love push me. you. They love you. D D Dana love me. Yeah. Me, me and Dana, we boys. Uh, yeah? yeah? You guys yeah. hang out? A couple of times, a couple of times. Really? Yeah. Wow. What'd you guys do? Especially living down in Vegas That's now. That's right. Where are you guys uh, going? Playing blackjack? Oh, no, no, no. I don't hang No, no. I don't. You're not nah, wasting your nah, money nah, on nah. that. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. It's I'm like $100,000 hands, too. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. You know? Where are you guys hanging out? Uh, a couple of times. Just around the PI and stuff oh, okay, like that. You know, okay, we, okay. We'll, we'll see each other. Break bread? I told him to, to to give me a ride in his Ferrari. You know, he gave uh, uh, Connor a ride. Yeah, yeah. The first goddamn night. I know, I'm right? Sport for a minute. Yeah, what's up with that? I deserve a ride. A did he Ferrari. give you one? A Ferrari? Yeah, no, did he give you a ride at least? No, no, I'm just. No, he didn't give you. Okay. Yeah, not, not yet, not yet. But it, it but it'll get there. And, and and I'm gonna get my own. I ain't even worried about it. Yeah. So. And you're not gonna rent it. Hell no. <laughs> no <laughs> Yo, like, you seen that that's part. right. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna buy it. <laughs> exactly. So do you use the performance in suit a lot since you live in Vegas? Like, are you are you really taking advantage of it? Yeah, I've been. Uh, uh, I did my last two training camps there. I try and I try and outsource for all my training. You know, I, I keep the same trainers, but I go out and I, and I find the training partners, uh, and that's allowed me to like bring them all there and, and bring them in. Uh, especially with this last training camp, I, I feel like I, I I actually feel like the the camp went really well. Uh, I had great trainers. I had great training partners. I really didn't have no complaints about it. Uh, especially yeah, using the, the the performance institute. I feel like I'm gonna use it a little bit more now. Oh. Wow. Um, especially now that I have the time because I didn't want to change anything. But I, I'm gonna play around with the camp. 
like I said, I'm changing. I'm, I'm playing around with my management too a little yeah, bit. Yeah, what's going on? You're free agent? Yeah, no, not right now. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm still signed, but we'll, we'll, we, we, you're looking around. Yeah, yeah, you're shopping we, around. Yeah, business yeah, we, is good. Business is great. Yeah, business is boom, man. Baby. Really? I I Even can't. despite the loss. I don't slow down. Okay. I'm a champion. I said that before the fight. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying it after. Even though I'm not sitting up here with this gold belt, I yeah. still feel like a champion. Okay. And I'm going to still treat myself like a champion. And I'm going to go back out there. Uh, and I'm going to be a champion. I, I feel like I'm only a couple wins away from that still. Uh, as I'm still young. Right. It might not happen when I'm 25, but right. 26 is the magic number. Yeah. Well, and how's this doing? Oh, it's it's smooth. Is it you gone? Know, they, oh, right over here, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they had me on antibiotics for 14 days. Wow. Uh, is it gone? But the UFC doctors have, have have taken great care of me. Dr. Okay. D is the man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. He he almost had to cut it out of me. So he, wow, he like, uh, yeah. really? It was that big? Yeah, it was it was it was getting bad. Uh, How does it look now? Yeah, that was we see. Cool. Yeah, you want to see? Oh, it's still a little dark. Yeah, it's still a little dark. But does it hurt? For the most part, no, nah, no. Nah, like nah, did you get punched there? Does it hurt? No, nah, nah, no, no, not now, not, not, not okay. no more. You know, the in the fight though, must it was it killing? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. but you don't feel anything. Sure, the sure, fight. sure, sure. Uh, it was just after, you know, a after it was the antibiotics. I was right. on antibiotics for two weeks, and those those just murder your system. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but other than that, I'm smooth, 100 percent now, healthy, ready to get back to training, kind of fine tune my game a little bit, fine tune my team a little bit, and then we are gonna go out there and we are gonna win a world title. Have you watched the fight? Yeah, yeah. What's that like? I brought my team over. We all watched it. Oh. Uh, kind of sat down. We 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 picked them, uh, chewed it up. It was a lot of it was a lot of things for me to learn from that fight. Yeah, I was a little too emotional. Definitely, uh, my adrenaline was a little bit too high. I was ready to fight like two hours before. As soon as I stepped into the arena, I was ready to fight. I was like already in a sweat. Hmm. Uh, that was a little, I was just, my adrenaline was too high for the whole time. So I, I feel like uh, I'll do a better job listening to my coaches next time, kind of settle down a little bit more uh, and kind of just be smarter. Like I said, George texted me before the fight. He said, keep your mind sharp. And, and I didn't do that during the fight. I, I feel like the physical was all there. It just was the mental that uh, that I let Tony win. And, and and Tony's one of the best in the game at that. I will give him that. Uh, I didn't take anything away from the front of the fight, and I'm still not. Tony Tony won. He, he was the better man that night. But I, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to whoop his ass. So, Tony, you think he gets Connor? What do you think? He should. He should. Yeah. By all accounts, uh, Tony is the real champion. Tony is the, is the lightweight champion, hands down. Uh, does Connor want to... Fight for that title? I don't know. I think I don't know what Connor wants. If he can, if he can sleep at night, I said it before. If he can sleep at night, yeah, and, and feel like the champion, then, then better luck to him. But if he if he's a real man, he'll go out there, he'll fight Tony, uh, he'll lose to Tony, and then I'll fight Connor. Who do you think wins, Habib or Barbosa? <laughs> <laughs> be picked a good fight. I, I give him that. He what picked do you a good fight. You think uh, you like that matchup for him? I like the matchup for him. Uh, I think he might. He might end up pulling it's off striker Barboza. versus wrestler. Barboza don't like that. Oh, you know, okay. he, he, if if Khabib can close the distance like he's gonna do, uh, he might be able to ragdoll him a little bit. But. Barboza's got a lot of power. So I, I'm looking forward to that fight. It's going to be a great one. Uh, I think Khabib picked a good matchup. Okay. I give it to him. After this one, we'll see. How's the new house? Oh, it's smooth, it's smooth. Yeah. You know, I, I, I've got yeah. to... Have you settled in? I've got to take the time. Okay. Decorate it the okay, way I okay, like. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I still ain't throwing a housewarming party yet. Okay. But it, it, it's time. coming together. Will I get invited to the housewarming party? You got it. You got really? Because you, you said it. I was tripping. I'm kind of shocked by this. Or was it just because of Mickey Gall? Oh, it was just because of Mickey Gall. Okay, Gall okay. Thing. No, no, no. I thought no, we, we had worked so no, hard no, to cool, build the back up. You're my man. you my man. No, no. My hands are very sweaty. All right, you got it. Okay. It's very hot in here. I've been talking for like three hours. I didn't mean to leave you hanging. One of my favorite moments leading up to that fight at 216 was embedded when your family came, o came over to your house mm -hmm. and it was like it was really cool to see how your parents were just so proud right yeah that that uh that actually came together pretty good i thought it was a, it was a candid moment it was amazing uh, they ended up just showing up uh the 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 crew as my family oh, really? was coming because i was that was the was, first time you were showing them your your house that you just got i literally had just signed the papers wow uh, and and it, it, it ended up working out pretty good they, they love it now they come over in all the time and, but they don't live uh, in vegas right they live in vegas yeah you, your parents do Oh really? About about thirty minutes from me. Oh, uh, when did they, they move? They in, as soon a month after. Really? So I moved out there uh, a month after my my fight with Ally Ken to my first UFC fight. Yeah. And then I moved them out maybe a month after that. Why did you bring them out? 
it, uh, people think that I'm a lot different. Uh, even I, I, I got to give a shout out to New York because I've taken so many pictures here. Everywhere I go, like people want pictures. I love you here. Yeah, but I mean, but people think I'm, I'm, I'm different. You know, they come up to me and, and I, I'm cool. Like I don't, I don't be. People just expect me to be. Uh, I guess a little different. Like family means a lot to me. Okay. You know, like you you see, like my circle is real tight. Like the, those are the people that mean the most to me. So uh, I wasn't gonna just leave and just leave them back in Detroit and 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 leave them down. I I, I bring my family. I, I try and make sure everybody's good, even though I'm good. Okay. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. So do you still have family living in Detroit? Yeah, I got all, all my uh, all my extended family. I'll go back. For uh, UFC 218, yeah, uh, and also to support support my boy Max, uh, but I'll go back, enjoy it with them, still go out to my old neighborhood. Right. I said it would have been better with the gold belt, wave it around a little bit, it's but good. I'll still throw a little celebration. We'll still get it in, okay, and, and they'll still love it. What 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 is that neighborhood like? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can come back with me if you yeah. want. <laughs> I'd love to see it. What, like, is it is it? it yeah, it's it's rough. It's uh, rough. It's, it's rough. I ain't been to no, you know, I've been in Manhattan this whole time while I've been yeah, in New yeah. York, uh, but it, but it's rough. And it, it, it's oh, it's got to get better just because Detroit is, is is such a big port between the United States and Canada and it brings so much money. Sure. It's got to get better. But right now it's just, it, 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 it's, all I can do is just try and motivate and and get the people that, that come from the same background to get the young kids uh, and give them something to look forward to. I wish I would have had that when I was a kid. When I was 10, uh, the only people that you, 10, 11 years old, right in those in those peak stages, the only people I had to look up to were, were the drug dealers, were the, really? were the were, you know, the, the, the robbers, the murderers, the whatever. Like You're actually hanging out with these people. It, that's who you that's see. It. Like they that's live down, they right. live next door. Right. And they're the ones with the cars, they're the ones with the money, they're right. the ones with the jewelry, the girls. Right. Like they they the ones with all that you want. So you figure that that's what you gotta do. And that's what I always thought until I, I changed my mindset. So I'm gonna go back and, and I'm gonna show the, the young kids, those, those 10, 11 year olds, those, those ones that's coming up, uh, that, that you can do something better. And MMA is just, a, is just another, another way. You know, you don't just have to rap ball or, or you right. know, you, you, it, it's another way too. You can fight your way out. How did you change your mindset? If it's like so part, uh, so so much a part of the the life there, the lifestyle. How do you? Go, everyone's going this way. You go that way, and you become it's, what it's, you become. How did you do it? It's very very hard, uh, especially when you get so much peer pressure. You get so much, uh, and you don't know any other way. You don't see doctors, and you don't see lawyers, yeah. and you don't see these people that 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 are smart that are doing it. Uh, I think I, I had to give a lot of credit to my parents, and I think that's why I, I, I try and you know still keep them. It, th those are the people that when I was down, they were looking out for me. Uh, my dad did a great job. My mom did a great job. So I can really only give it to them. And to say when I was like 12, 13 years old, I just like I'm not gonna be one of these. I already seen where that lead, led down. I already seen where you know drinking all day and smoking all day and doing all and just sitting around doing nothing and getting into trouble. Like I seen where that led. So I just made the decision. Like I didn't know what I was gonna do. I just was gonna be different. Okay. And then when I saw that fight, when I saw George, uh, and when I just saw him in May, I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. And wow. and does George know this? Not, not to the extent. You've never told uh, him. You've never not had to a the extent. Really you know, I don't get, I don't get like, like you get all emotional? about okay. a, a lot, yeah, lot yeah. of people. Like, we keep it cool. You know, I text him after the fight. He texts me after my like, respect, we we yeah. keep it cool, like on, on respect. Uh, maybe one day. Yeah. But nah. I mean, nah, that's a pretty really. amazing thing. Like, he completely altered. Like, he gave you that that light at the end of the tunnel, right? He gave you that vision. This is something that you wanted to attain. Did you? Were you ever on that bad path? Oh yeah, you were. Oh, definitely. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, look, I ain't no, I ain't, I ain't sitting up here preaching. I ain't, okay. I ain't none of that. Like, oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it could have been uh, many times in my life where just one wrong move and really? and, and everything would have changed and everything would have been different. Wow. Uh, so I mean, where can I give that to? I don't know. I'm not really like that spiritual. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, but. Yeah, it's many times where I could have definitely fallen off the the, the path and, and gone down the wrong road. And uh, I, like I said, I just got to give it to my parents. And you know, I'm I've I kind of always been a smart guy too, so I was able to go to college and get yeah. away from 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 you know my situations and still go. So I don't know, I don't know who I get that to really. How's your brother doing? Oh, he's he, he's doing he much out? better. He he's been out for a little bit. Oh, nice. Uh, he's staying Congrats. with me. Oh, really? Uh, In know, Vegas? To, yeah, the boy still. That boy still he 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 another one, but uh, what do you mean? <laughs> you know he's just young. He's just young How and old dumb. Is he? uh, he's seventeen now. Okay, he's just young and dumb. 
But uh, so you're you're the guy who's taking care of him. You're his caretaker. For the most part, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's just you two living got, in the house. No, no, no. Uh, I got I got two younger brothers, so it's oh. three of us. Uh, All living a, in that house. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's, it's me. Uh, I got my younger brother's twenty one, and then the youngest who's who's seven. The twenty one year old is the fighter. Is the other fighter? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's, and uh, he's three and one. Okay. You know? He's doing well. Yeah, oh, he's doing, yeah. He's you don't have to worry amazing. about him as much. Oh, he, he, he's amazing. Uh, like I said, he, I think honestly, he'll be a better fighter than me. Wow. Uh, Keith, right? Keith, yeah. Yep. Keith Lee. Yeah. Uh, right now, we, 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 we stuck in the past. We see him where we want to take him with, uh, especially with this PFA thing and, and all these, uh, you know, he's got a lot of opportunities at 135, especially, uh -huh. uh, you know, see if we go overseas, see what, see what exactly we're going to do. Okay. But as far as a, a fighting fighter and a fighting talent, I mean, he's amazing. I, I, I think he's going to be huge, uh, especially in these next coming years. Um, and and then the youngest one, we 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 gonna see, we gonna we we gonna get that boy. I'm <laughs> you want him to him fight? Shape. I'm gonna whip him into shape. I don't really? I don't know if necessarily fighting. Uh, fighting ain't for everybody. Fighting yeah, ain't yeah. you know it, it ain't the only route route to go. Uh, but he he he's got a lot of different options. He he's a really talented kid. Uh, we we'll just see where he take. What him. was it like when he came out? Like like you had to sort of reintroduce him to the world, right? Yeah. What was uh, that like? He was supposed to come out before I fought Mike Kiesa. Yeah. Uh, he ended up staying a couple weeks extra. Uh, but then I got to see him before before I fought Tony, and he and he came out. Uh, I mean, it it, it 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 was amazing to see the transformation. You know, he grew up so much wow. from sixteen to seventeen, and just those those uh, ten months that he was there. Uh, it, it's amazing to see the the transformation. He still got a little bit of growing to do, but okay. but I, I I never been through anything like that, yeah. so it's hard for me to for me to relate a lot, but uh, I just try and even learn from him and try and learn from him, from his journey and his struggles. And so he actually that. came out a better person. Yeah, for sure. For really? sure. 100, 1,000% he wow. came out a much better person, uh, much smarter, much, much more mature. Uh, and I think that's what it's all about at, at the end of the day. And, and, and it's not just my brother. It, it, it's every, you know, it's a, it's a lot of people's brothers that, that go through the same thing. Sure. And it's a lot of people's sons and, and uncles and, and whoever they are to them. Uh, they go through the same things. And, and, and it's just about progressing, just about getting better. Yeah, you're going to take an L. Yeah, you're going to get knocked down. And, and he's going to get back. And he's going to be back better too. By the way, did you see Kesa here? He was at the fight as yeah, well. Yeah, no, somebody told me that, but no, nah, I didn't, see, I didn't, never see, him. I didn't see him. Nah, he he probably saw me and like you know, uh -huh. yeah, duck. What off do you think would happen <laughs> if you cross paths? Do you think it's over between you two? I, I think it's. I'm You're cool. Good? Right. I'm cool. I mean, he cool too. He don't like I said after the fight. Mike said a lot of things. The only thing he didn't say is that he wanted that fight again. And he don't want that smoke again. Okay. Come on, a lot of these, a lot of the guys bark. They don't, they don't really want the right. smoke. You know, uh, right now I, I'm looking on a bigger and better. We'll see. Uh, What's the ideal scenario for the return? Have you thought about that? Honestly, I still, I, I think it's a lot of legs still to that. Uh, I, I kind of like the Eddie and, and Justin fight. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, took yeah. my spot. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. still kind of, yeah, yeah. I'm still kind of <laughs> ultimate fighter. You yeah, that yeah. Spot, I'm still right? kind of, I'm still kind of feeling some type of way about that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll see. We'll see who wins that fight. Okay. We'll see. We'll be front and center. Yeah, be there. I'm, I'm, I'm there. So right. uh, we'll see who wins that fight. Who knows? Okay. I might jump the cage, do some WWE. Oh, wow. No, no. Like Mike Perry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's right. You saw that with Darren Till? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He jumped yeah, up, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So uh, I like that fight. I think it's real interesting. Um, like I said, I, I feel like I'm only still one, one, two fights away. Well, again, we'll see how how Connor, if he ends up fighting Tony, uh, he's gonna get his ass whooped. So then that's gonna throw no chance. Little, you give him no shot. I give him no shot. He's really? gonna throw another little wrench in the in the in, in the system. So we we we. Are you kind of hoping that that happens so it kind of keeps things moving a little bit at 155? Because it feels like it's a little bit stagnant with the interim belt. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's. it's uh, Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's not a whole lot of moving parts right now. Especially, I, I feel like it's gonna pick up. Okay. Uh, especially after Khabib fights Edson, that's yeah. gonna get some things moving. And then once Eddie and and, and Justin fight, uh, and then if if Tony and, and Connor fight, but like I said, I, I think the division is gonna be totally different in a in a year from now. Uh, and and I still got my eyes on Tony too. I think that's a that's the fight that I'm most looking forward to. That's where I want to get back to. So if I gotta run through, if I gotta run through Eddie, then Justin, then Khabib, and then Connor Damn. to fight Tony, I will. That's the one you want. You I think he's absolutely. champion a year? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's that's what I'm most looking forward to. I'm hoping that you know the man is a little old now. I'm I'm hoping that he can he can <laughs> he can still stay in his prime for just a little bit longer. Let right. me get that let me get that win back. By the way, uh, big fight at 155 this Saturday. Pettis and Poirier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Who do you have in that one? Uh, so it's, 
that's a tough one to call. I got to go with Pettis. Okay. I, I, I think Pettis is going to be slicker, uh, especially on the feet. He'll have a little more firepower. You know, they, they're, they're roughly about the same size, so yeah. I, I think that the, the wrestling will, will kind of negate itself. Uh, and, and I think Pettis is just a little bit slicker, and he does much better versus Southpaws. So you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I think uh, if I'm going, I'm going Pettis by a body kick. Really? Wow. Sure. Yeah, Where are you talking kick. title shot? Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. No. <laughs> it ain't gonna come on. It's, like, you said, this, like you said, this, this division is it's a little log jam right now. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a lot of titles being thrown around. It's a lot of title shots being thrown around. Like, yeah, yeah. let's forget a title shot. Let's just make some money. How about that? Right. And you're you, you're happy. You said. I'm cool. I'm yeah. cool. Like I said, I went to a Broadway show yesterday. I know, man. I'm walking around the financial I to, district. I don't go. <laughs> like, come on. I'm cool. I don't go to Broadway shows. I'm cool. I, I don't have, to, I don't have the, the the means for Broadway shows. I'm not a prize fighter like you are, but I'm just saying. You just, Walt, is this your first, it's not your first time in New York, is it? Uh, it's my third time. Third time, okay. But I'm getting, I'm getting to do a little bit of uh, yeah, some a little shopping, bit of everything. Yeah, some shopping, some Broadway. I'm trying to do, I, you know, uh, so, so, some childhood dreams. So, uh, you know, like I said, from here on, I'm going to get better. I'm gonna put out a little bit more content too. We'll we'll see. Oh, interesting. Uh, especially with with management, you know, I, I'm I was thinking about maybe doing like a podcast or something. Oh, like that. We'll, we'll, we'll see. So, uh, uh, you know, it's funny because you were the big things. You were the guy who told Tony, you know, could we get another analyst up in this? Yeah. Are, are you you want that? You never know. Fox is interested. Wow. So, I'm sure. Uh, Look at that smile. That I million know, right? dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I but, go to uh, I go down to L. A. next week. Oh, so, uh, you're doing I, something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Oh wow. LA next week. What's the fight next week? Are you doing like one of those? De- okay. <laughs> you brought it up. All right. By the way, I noticed you took a break from social media. Like this weekend was kind of like your return, but after your fight, you were kind of gone for a month. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd and you I, do that? It, it was it, it, the antibiotics too. You know, oh, okay. So it's, 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 <laughs> it just got you, you, you know, laying in the bed, not doing much. Uh, it's, it's hard, you know, so, uh, and 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 I just wanted to get away from everything. Okay. Uh, it can be. It's just was so much this yeah, past suffocating. year. Suffocating. This past year has been a, it's really tough, and it's it's been a lot. And I think it all came to a head during the fight. Yeah. Uh, and I I think you can kind of even see that and see it in, in my body language and my in, in, in my face. Uh, it's been a lot. So it's been good for me to kind of get away, kind of reset. You know, get back around my family. Uh, just enjoy them for a little bit. Uh, before I got to get back on that horse and keep it going because it, it, it's about to be a new year. Yeah. So, new, new year, new year, new me, Ariel. <laughs> I'm ready for it. When do you think you'll return? Like, what's what's a? I know you said you want to give your body a rest and everything. I, I, I like the July date. Uh, oh, wow. You know, okay. they, so they, we're they, talking about a bit of a break here. Yeah, they they, they throw a big uh, you know international yeah. fight week. That's right. Uh, it, it's always in Vegas. Okay. Vegas is the city, yeah. so uh, we'll, we'll 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 see. So we'll July, see where it goes. Wow. That's that's in like that's in eight months. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, I, miss I, you. I, I, I want to play around with 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 everything, you know what I mean. I want right. to give a long time for my diet to play around with. Uh, I'm gonna get back in the gi a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some uh, a, a lot of grappling, a lot of jujitsu. Uh, I've been kind of neglecting it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get back to my roots and and, and come back and be even stronger. Wow. And, and I think uh, I think my next fight. I'm gonna be a completely different fighter. I think I'm gonna show a, a whole lot more. Uh, I still haven't even began to peak yet. So uh, next year when I come back, I'll be a lot stronger. I'll, I'll and, and I'm gonna show the people a lot more. The, the people will be really excited. I think to see my return. Why get back in the key? Like, how does that benefit you as an it, MMA fighter? It, it just it, it it slows down the game. Uh, Hey, that's what I used to do. It's, it's hard to do that when you're in training camp. Okay. It's hard to get better in training camp. I think that's yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what fans don't really understand. Uh, when I'm in training camp, and I did four fights this year, so I kind of went back to back to back. Uh, each time I, I would take two weeks off, and then I'm right back in training camp. Mm-hmm. And it's hard to learn while you're in training camp because you're preparing for a specific guy. You're just mostly just getting into shape and and and, and making sure that that the weight is great. Right, right. Uh, and, and on all this, so it's 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 much better to learn outside of training camp. So I'm, I'm gonna learn. I get to try new things. I get to try spinning shit and all this, and yeah. uh, and, and come back out and and I'm gonna show a completely different game. I feel like even these even during this these times uh these last four fights i've shown a different game each time i went out and fought and i think this time you're gonna see something completely different and, and it's gonna be great um so are you gonna stay with the same team yeah yeah i'm, I'm gonna make it uh, of course of course I, I look i stay with the ones that brought me there yeah, yeah, yeah. uh i'll make some changes to it you know we, we, we always improve yeah i'm just gonna make some improvements uh and, and that's it and i'm gonna come back and uh we we gonna whoop some ass how long are you staying in new york fighter. for uh, till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Til tomorrow and then what else are we doing? Uh, till tomorrow, plans? I leave to Oakland. Oh. Then I go to LA, 
And what's then, in Oakland? Uh, then I go down to Detroit, uh, just some family stuff. So, okay. uh, what's in LA? I almost got you there. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Uh, any other big plans in New York while you're here? Any other shows you're going to? Any nah, big nah, meeting I greets? Uh, I mean, what, what should I do? You, you look. This your city. I gave I'm you. In... I gave you suggestions. Flight Club, and you just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it now. What time they close? Flight Club. Oh, what time they close? Uh, it's a pretty. I mean, it's it's four I got o'clock. You. you still got time. I got you. Supreme. I, got you. I told you to go to Supreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. know I know. Supreme. I know. I know. I look. I give you advice. <laughs> Did you go to the meatpacking district? Me, uh, okay, I'm, I'm on. I'm on the me pack. It's, 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 it's been a lot. It's now been a lot Monday this week. Night. I don't I'm, try, know. I'm trying to yeah, see a little yeah. bit of everything. All right, all right. Uh, you just lucky I'm not a fake it till you make it, because uh, otherwise your boy have a couple Rolex. <laughs> like, yeah, right. look, I've been walking down so like they got Rolexes just right on two, the street. Two for ten. <laughs> I know, I know. It's nice. And no one notices, and you could get a Louis Vuitton bag, and it looks just like the real thing, right? <laughs> look, I never you go been to Canal a, Street. You never been, been a fake until you make it. You okay. go back and see before I start making money. Like you know, I, look, I wore the Reebok stuff. I wore what they gave me. Like I'm look when it, no when I Reebok do it. Now, though, like right? you said, I don't, I ain't gonna rent no Lambos. That's right. When I do it, buy that. I'm going to buy right. it. You this bought moment. that house, right? You got damn right. Yes. Well done. <laughs> Kevin, great to see you, man. Thank you for reaching out. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate Thank it. You, and, uh, you know, it, it's it's nice. I got worried there for a second. My heart stopped for a second. I thought, you know, because this 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 budding friendship has been one of my highlights of 2017. And so oh, yeah. I feel like this is just another step. We had you in Vegas when we were at May Mac, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't complain anymore. I'm showing love. We getting on. We getting yeah. on. Just no more Mickey. No more Mickey. No more Mickey. And you bet not bring up Sage to me at the after oh, this next <laughs> week. Oh boy. Bet Why? not. He's back. He's back. <sighs> all right. <laughs> I know. I forgot. That's where it all started with us. Yes, sir. Sage, yes, that's sir. where it all started. Our next guest, uh, I think, has a bone to pick with me as well. So I'll deal with that. But for now, we'll say goodbye. I'm Thank you very much, thing. Kevin. Thank, Thank you, you so man. much. Of course. Enjoy New York. If you have any more uh, questions, if you want recommendations that you're going to ignore, Please, I'll feel text free to you. Hit me Don't up. worry. I will. There he is as he walks out. The Motown phenom himself, Kevin Lee.